Greetings, fellow space enthusiasts. Today, I have some exciting news to share that will certainly please everyone in the Kerbal universe. Just a few hours ago, the developers of KSP2 have unveiled a colossal update coming this December, and it's named For Science. So, what's packed in this For Science update? Brace yourself, because it's truly monumental. It basically feels like a version 2.0 to me, and I believe it will put much of the recent criticism for no real development in the last few months to an end. Anyway, let's get into it. First up, exploration mode. In this mode, you collect and transmit science from unique biomes across the Kerbal system, and then redeem science to unlock new part technologies. Why is it called exploration mode and not science mode? Well, in the future updates, this mode will allow for resource collection and utilization, as well as the establishment of automated resource delivery routes. And developers want you to be able to continue the campaigns you start in December throughout all future colony, interstellar, and resource gathering updates. Now, I'm curious whether you will be allowed to switch between exploration mode and sandbox freely anytime you want. So you can, you know, go to other planet, then the exploration mode, which you're not allowed to. Or once you select exploration, it will be just exploration and you will have to advance um, in the science and development. Let's see. Now, let's talk about the science collection part and interface. As the name states, all new science collection parts help collect science. These parts are physically consequential, meaning shape and mass should be taken into consideration when building vehicles. The science collection and transmission interface gives you the heads up when there is an opportunity to take measurements or collect a sample. The research inventory gives a detailed view of all science collected during a flight with clear information about what's been learned and what conditions need to be met to claim science rewards. And what's next? The Research and Development Center is opening its doors. Yes, science can be used to unlock new categories in the tech tree, allowing you to create more advanced vehicles. You will be also available to scout and preview future tech tree nodes, enhancing your planning capabilities. And guys, if this would be all for the December update, I think that will be already thrilling, but we are not done yet. So what's coming next? Well, the mission control is also entering the scene, led by the esteemed Dr. Kerry Kerman. So get ready for increasing challenging quests, from basing rocketry to venturing into the realm of entire new kinds of vehicles. And because it would be weird to have all these missions and advance uh, science and exploration, without proper re-entry heating, then you can bet this is coming as well. The atmospheric re-entry heating and thermal behavior for parts are introduced and now you will have to take those heat shields seriously. Last but not least, developers are also addressing the wobbly rockets in this update. An enhanced joint system should dramatically reduce the wobbliness of large vehicles. Let's hope this will actually work and we can put this issue behind us once and for all. And that is still not all. The developers have teased significant improvements to quality of life and performance. So get ready for smoother gameplay and accessibility on a wide variety of PCs. So there you have it, Kerbal fans. Our science update is going to, I dare to say it, revolutionize your Kerbal Space Program 2 experience. Now we have to only hope that the update will really deliver everything that was promised here and that it will not stop there. Although it will make the game much more enjoyable, I hope it will not mean that the subsequent half year or more will once again be a void in terms of meaningful updates. Anyway, I'm super pumped and I can't wait. If you are as excited as I am, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates from the world of KSP2 or other aerospace games and sims. And leave your thoughts and speculations in the comments below. Stay tuned for more KSP2 adventures and as always, happy launching! 
fellow carbonauts. I'll see you in the stars. <laughs>